so I'm sitting here in my car supposed to be going to work seven o'clock in the morning so please forgive this look but um I just posted earlier about the esteem of the black people and how these injustices basically tear at our root and it made me feel like I needed to finally put in video um, video form a conversation that I've had with many people about our history and our heritage and how I perceived it as a child because I didn't realize it was unique until someone told me that it needed to be shared so here it goes so black people I just want to tell you just how absolutely beautiful and more importantly how chosen I think you are um, and I am as a people you know when we were growing up um, we, we learned about slavery and for many people that was a time period where we looked at it in shame and, and people have told me that whenever they heard that they were a slave and they were in school they wanted to kind of hide under their desk and just be absent for the day because they didn't want anyone to talk about it but for me and I didn't know this was a unique experience but um for me I have always been excited about the thought that I was a descendant of a slave in fact I couldn't wait for the day that we discussed the topic and I and I grew up in a place um, where my uh, during high school years I was the only black person in my class so it wasn't like I was feeling ready to do the fight but I was excited to talk about the fact that I was a slave for this purpose is that I'm a scientist at heart and I learned in the fourth grade we we're talking about DNA sequence and everything and I began to think at that point well then if if I am at the very root of me my DNA and if my DNA comes from my parents my mom and my father and my DNA has always lived in my mother then I must have been always living allow me to say this okay so if I was living in my mother in the form of my DNA that she had to pass to me within her eggs right then I was also living in my grandmother because my mother got her DNA from her grandmother right and so forth and so on and go back in generations so where it meant to me was that then I have always been living and breathing and thriving within some human being and this is where it gets important because that means that I was living and thriving and being back in Africa and so I'm a doctor and I have traveled um, to Tanzania and in that flight it took me 30 hours to get from Charleston South Carolina to Mwanza Tanzania 30 hours well, for slaves, that transit was three months. Now, three months of you being placed in the bottom of a ship. There's no food. There's lack of water. There's disease. There's infections. And yet, not only did you make it when hundreds of thousands of slaves are lying in the bottom of the sea, you had to have made it and you survived to make it to the United States. You, your DNA, me. I survived so fast forward for a hundred years a hundred years a hundred years a hundred years for 400 years right I was kept as a slave I was treated like less than an animal and yet I built a nation I want you to just think about that for a second I did my DNA right I had to survive that or I wouldn't be here today Fast forward, even after 400 years of being incarcerated, for another 100 years, you were told that you were less than human still. Now, you're three-fifths of a human. You didn't even have the right to vote. Right? You couldn't use this bathroom. You can't use this school. But yet, you were so powerful of a people that when you opened your mouth and you walked the streets, you changed the very constitution of the greatest nation in the world, that is what kind of greatness we have stored up in our DNA. And that's what I learned very early on and it's one of the things that have has led me to think that there is absolutely nothing I cannot accomplish there's nothing you can put in my way that I won't even be able to just to just make it pass I will excel at it anything and everything because I 
my DNA, my people, have survived the most intense things that any human can throw at them, and nothing has ever stopped our progress. Not only did we survive, but we thrived. There is no other people, black people, I need you to hear this. There is no other people that has endured what we have endured. You are a very special people. You're a very special group. And that's why you get attacked over and over and over again because you don't attack the weak. It's easy to attack the weak. You can't fight the giant head on. What you have to do is poison the giant's water. And I don't mean literally. What I mean is that fluidity in your life, the fluidity is your esteem. And that's what the enemy tries to do. And I'm, I'm saying enemy and not meaning white people. I don't want it to come across it that way. What I mean by enemy is, is the injustices. What I mean by enemy is the limitations that people place on your life. That's the enemy. That's the enemy. You poison the esteem of the people. You tell them they're not worthy. You tell them they're not beautiful. Yet everyone tries to mimic you, right? They got the injections everywhere. Let's stop it, right? They, they tell you you're not smart. They tell you you're not funny. And yet pop culture mimics everything that you do from the way that you walk to the way that you talk to the way that you, you dance to the way that you sing. Everything. You're a beautiful chosen people. And until we recognize that, if we ever wrapped our mind around that, that, if we ever wrapped our mind around the greatness of our DNA, we would be a dangerous people. A dangerous people. And not...